Hello friends, under the series Anthropology through vocabulary in Sosin classes, we are now picking up this term called potlash, another very interesting term which actually occurs uh, in the context of economic exchanges and this is a kind of a term that uh, was very popular in several Polynesian societies and of course uh, and of course we have uh, several Northwestern Canadian and American societies that were known for uh, this practice. When it comes to its earliest studies by anthropologists, we can actually uh, look at uh, Boazian studies. Boaz, when he was studying the Pakitil society, he for the first time used this term. Potlash is actually a term that is a very complex exchange. Uh, this is something like uh, 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 giving up, giving up for services and goods generously. The goods may be in you know, a clothes or you know, a proteinaceous diet or any kind of uh, interesting belongings of them uh, so that uh, one is trying to seek the acceptance of the people. And uh, in the later studies, after Boazian studies, uh, one very important area that was studies was as a part of uh, Vanuatu Islands. Several islands have been reported to have a uh, potlash. Very interesting uh, feature of these islands is the pig feast. It was uh, studied for the first time by Huffman and Horkom in the Tana Island there. As you can see the huge line of uh, pigs there, the huge line of uh, pigs there, which actually indicates that you know, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people that are involved in this. So it actually shows that uh, as a part of the pig feast, the person there, the donor there, uh, is trying to showcase his uh, pompous wealth apart from accepting, get, get, getting the acceptance of people as the leader. There are various other types of potlashes we will be talking about under this series. Keep watching. Thank you.